Well, the um, arrest warrants issued against uh, Al Asiri and Al Qahtani have now taken the total number of arrest warrants up to 20. So that's 15 uh, members of the, the, the hit squad uh, who, uh, who came here to Istanbul and are believed to have carried out the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, in addition to three uh, Saudi consular staff uh, and then these two figures as well. So who are they? They are very important. Um, Ahmed Al Asiri is a deputy or was a deputy intelligence chief, the deputy head of the Saudi intelligence. He was also uh, a former spokesman for their war uh, in Yemen. Uh, Saud Al Qahtani was a close confidant of Mohammed bin Salman, a top advisor to him, also known as Lord of the Flies for his uh, role, in essence, in charge of the Saudi tr online troll army. Um, these two figures, yes, they were close to Mohammed bin Salman, but they have already been fired by the Saudis. And at the time, it was felt that perhaps, according to some analysts, that they were there to kind of take the flag, take the blame for the, uh, the killing of Jamal Khashoggi uh, and take away the blame from Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Yes, they were close enough that he was getting punished, but at the same time, you know, allowing him to remain above the fray and to, to, to say that he was not involved. Of course, many people saying that that perhaps is not the case. Now, a, a, a Turkish uh, official who was close to the investigation is saying that the uh, arrest warrants issued against these two figures is partly uh, a reflection of the view that they will not be prosecuted within Saudi Arabia itself. So this is uh, the Turkish um, prosecutor now taking things to the next level because they feel within Saudi Arabia um, justice uh, in this case will not, uh, will not come, come through. So, so Abu Bakr, I mean, the next step now then is trying to get these suspects onto uh, Turkish soil, which Saudi says won't happen. Uh, so what will Turkey do next? Well, it's unlikely that there'll be extra, extra, extradited, sorry. Very unlikely they'll be extradited. Um, and now the next step, perhaps, and this is something that Turkey has indicated, um, that, that things should be taken to an international level, that this shouldn't just uh, stay within Turkey as a Turkish investigation. This should be an international investigation. There are two things that could happen there. One is an Interpol arrest warrant being issued. Now, the first step of that would be an arrest warrant within the uh, country that the crime was committed, uh, Turkey. And so this could potentially be a first step there. And then the next step being that Interpol international arrest warrant being issued for Lassir and Qahtani. Uh, the other is something that President Erdogan has, has kind of spoken about, which is a United Nations probe into the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. So again, that this isn't just about Turkey, and this is something that Erdogan mentioned, this isn't just about Turkey, this is something the international community should be concerned about, and therefore it needs to kind of be taken seriously uh, by the United Nations and the wider international community. Okay, Abu Bakr al-Shamahi joining us live there from outside the Saudi consulate here in Istanbul. Thanks so much, as always, for that.